Hey guys, it's iPhone Elps here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak your 4.2.1 firmware that Apple released yesterday. So this is going to work with every single device, but for some devices it's going to be tethered, and for some devices it's going to be untethered. So the devices that's going to be untethered is basically the iPhone 3G, iPhone 3GS old boot ROM, iPod Touch non-MC model. And if you don't know if your iPod Touch is MC or MB, just go to your settings and you'll find that. So for the for the devices that's gonna be tethered is basically the new AG4 chip, which is basically on the iPod Touch 4 generation, iPhone 4, iPad, uh, iPhone 3GS new boot ROM, iPad, uh, iPod Touch 4 gen um, third third generation, and iPod Touch second generation MC model. So that's uh, basically the difference between untethered and tethered is untethered you can turn it uh turn it off and turn it back on and tethered you're gonna have, if you turn it off you're gonna have to re-plug it in your computer and re-jailbreak it or you reuse red snow so enough with that talking let's go ahead and show you guys how to do this so i have two links in the sub bar below one is going to be for the dev team and one is going to be for the firmware so the first thing you want to do is go ahead and download the red snow uh, 0.9.6 beta 4 so if you have mac or windows you just click on any of them and then once you have that saved in your desktop, it's going to be a zip folder. So you're going to have to extract it to your desktop. Then you're going to go ahead and download your firmware. And then you'll be set to jailbreak with Red Snow. So I'm not going to show you guys this pro the next process because I don't feel like doing it to my new iPod Touch 4 generation because I j just jailbreaked it. And I don't feel like uh, jailbreaking it's going to be tethered. And I don't feel like plugging it in after turning it off. So I'm not going to do it. Sorry if you guys wanted to see it, but I'm pretty sure there's uh, more videos out there that shows you guys how to do it. But that's basically about it, guys. And if you guys have any questions or any problems, sh leave them leave them in the comments below, and I'll try to answer them. And yeah, so don't forget to thumbs up this video if you found this video helpful. And that's basically about it, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.